Greetings from Kentucky, in anticipation of spring and summer, which seems just a little bit foolish right now because I'm looking at snow on the ground, but in anticipation of spring and summer, which will come, I thought I would do a review of some of the natural and organic BBCC tinted moisturizer creams that I've been trying out. I've been really pleased with them. I think you have a lot of terrific, terrific choices for organic BB cream, CC creams, and tinted moisturizers. I wear them all underneath the Christopher Drummond Voluto Velvet Foundation, which I am just over the moon about. I love these. It's kind of like there's these mineral foundations and then there's all the others. And I have some others I'll need to use, but I'll be definitely using my Christopher Drummond. What makes these different, I think, is that they don't have titanium dioxide. They do have zinc oxide. And the second thing that makes them different is that they have oils infused. So I can wear these even in winter, which at 55 with dry skin, basically, although the Celtic complexion has that under control, so it's not all that dry, but still, normally, if I were to put on a mineral foundation in the winter at 55, I would have lines everywhere, and with this Voluto Velvet Foundation, I don't. So, love, love, love this stuff, but that's not what I'm going to talk about. What I'm going to talk about are the BB creams, CC creams, etc. that I've been trying out. I'm going to start with the Celtic Complexion Light Tinted Moisturizer SPF 31. It does come in light, and it comes in medium. The light shade is good for me in terms of intensity. You can see it's not that much darker than my skin, and that's good. However, it's very, very yellow, so I have to make sure that I wear a pinkish toned foundation over it. Because The other thing I will say about this is that it does tend to separate, and then it clogs the little pump. So sometimes my pump's not working. Not sure if it is right now. Yep, actually right now it is, but when it gets cold it will separate on me. So you have to shake it up really, really well. If you don't shake it up super, super well, you're gonna end up with getting the oil out of the pump and then at the bottom there's gonna be a thicker sediment. So shake, shake, shake on the Celtic complexion. I can tell by looking at how shiny this swatch is that I did not shake, shake, shake enough. It really will separate. Now, not all of the Celtic complexion products are vegan. Some of them contain beeswax. This one does not, so it's a good vegan option for you as well. It is SPF 31. It's a little on the higher end side, but I enjoy using this. Another one that will separate but that I like is this Raw Ceuticals BB SPF 20 Matte Cream. Again, Raw Skin Ceuticals, Cosmeceuticals. I think Raw Skin Ceuticals is the skincare and they call Cosmeceuticals, C-O-S-M-E dot Ceuticals, their cosmetic line. I get it in the shade C101 for the winter. My pump is totally defective by now on this and I'll show you, it is very, very thick. I lost the oil in this because the oil kind, kind of all came out first. However, that said, this has been a really good cream for me. It has a little bit more coverage than the Celtic Complexion Tinted Moisturizer. It hasn't settled for me into fine lines. I really like it, and I could see myself getting more of this Raw Skin Ceuticals product. Love the blend of oils in this ton of things that are good for your skin and in fact this one I would say is going to be better for your skin than the Celtic Complexion Tinted Moisturizer and you know I adore the Celtic Complexion Cream right I always use that all times a year no matter what but I like this better than I like the Celtic Complexion Tinted Moisturizer really enjoyed the, the raw skin suticals. only problem again is that it separates my pump breaks I end up with the thick stuff at the bottom so there's a, a user learning curve on this. You really have to make sure you shake, shake, shake this one as well. I also got the Organic Wear CC Cream from Physicians Formula. I haven't opened this one yet, but Andrea Shudra Starkleam sent me a sample. I used it for the first time today. Like it. Bought it for my niece when I saw my niece. I figured, yes, a good drugstore option would be nice for her. Liked the way it looked on her. Didn't seem to go on heavy. Not going to give you a lot, a lot of coverage, nor will, you know, the tinted moisturizer from Celtic Complexion, nor necessarily will the raw skin suticals, but really a nice product. Again, I used it today for the first time. 
I can see picking this up and using it all summer long because I think the price point is going to be good on it. I am really looking forward to giving this a longer trial, but first impressions, yes, I like it. So three products, three thumbs up. It's a really hard category. This is where price comes in and things like coverage come in and things like ingredients come in. So if I'm really looking for skin treatments, I think Roskinceuticals has really done the best job in terms of formulating something with a lot of good benefits for the skin. If I'm really looking for convenience and price, the organic wear from Physicians Formula, I always trust my Celtic Complexion products. They just seem to work on aging skin. So yeah, so far, three up, three thumbs up. You know, you just have to kind of make these micro choices. Another product, <clears throat> another product in this category that I like is the Centegrity. This is the Centegrity 5-in-1 Natural Moisturizing Face Sunscreen. And there's a little bit of it there. And there it is rubbed in. I used this a lot last summer. This does have silicone in it, so it spreads and fills. I'm not too worried about silicones. Silicones can't really penetrate the skin. The other fear with silicones is that they would trap whatever is there in the skin. So if you had bacteria, it might trap that under there and help it absorb a little bit more. Maybe some issues with acne. Haven't had that problem really with this integrity. Get my face nice and clean. I am perfectly happy for whatever products I put first down on my skin underneath this. For example, Celtic Complexion Cream to be sealed in. So that doesn't bother me. Again, really like Centegrity, but you're going to have to be comfortable with silicone and a silicone product. The same is true of the Jane Iredale Glow Time Full Coverage Mineral BB Cream with the SPF of 25. I've tried this, nice on aging skin, much, much, much fuller coverage. It does have dimethicone, as did the Centegrity. So if you like having the silicone in your product, I do sometimes. I like to kind of switch it off with products that don't have silicones, you know, just not to tempt fate. But basically, this has been a good one as well. This is obviously higher end, pricey, but if you're looking for something that's going to cover, 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 you're going to get the most coverage with this Jane Iredale. The other thing I should say about the Jane Iredale is that it is preserved with Japanese honeysuckle. So if that is an ingredient that you watch for, if you're uncomfortable with the fact that the Japanese honeysuckle and a paraben share the same kind of DNA, if you will, the same chemical footprint, then you might not want to choose the Jane Iredale. And obviously, price differences between the Physician's Formula and the Jane Iredale are going to be quite significant. I think ideally for me, if I really enjoy the Physician's Formula CC Cream, I need to give that a longer run. I could see using that all summer. I really like the idea of just being able to pick that up at the store at a really reduced cost. I would definitely top it with my Velvet Voluto Foundation or Voluto Velvet Foundation from Christopher Drummond. This does have sunscreen. It has the zinc oxide, so it's sun protection. One thing about all these BB creams, CC creams, tinted moisturizers with sunscreen, they do have sun protection, but you're probably not going to reapply them like you need to. Sunscreens need to be reapplied. So what I like about something like this product is that I will reapply this through the day, right? I can touch up with this powder. One thing about the Christopher Drummond Finishing Powder or the Sagipele, which is that Radiance Mineral Veil kind of product, love both of them, but neither of those have sun protection. The foundation does. So it's just one of those things that if you are needing sun protection that you're going to reapply over your makeup, really make sure they have the sun protection in them, the zinc oxide, for example, in them, so that you do get some sunscreen that you can reapply throughout the day without messing up your makeup. On the eyes today, I've been playing with some of my pigments from Fusion of Color. And what did I put on? I put on Daffodil. I put on Lucky Charm. This is a color called Whipped Plum, and this is Hyacinth. And I thought, that looks like spring to me. I could see spring there. Can you hear that dog in the background? He is making all sorts of noise. For concealer today, I have the My Shell Concealer with the Ursaly over it and it's okay, but this is what I'm used to. This is a product by Pink Papaya. It is called Photo Touch Concealer. It actually isn't their proprietary formula. I noticed this Photo Touch Concealer is sold under different labels. I get it from Pink Papaya. 
But just to show you the difference in coverage, and this is what I'm used to. I wish this were natural. It is not, but I can really put that on very, very thick, and then I can tap it in, or sometimes I'll use a brush, and usually I'll put a finishing powder over it. But that is kind of my deer in the headlights concealer routine that I'm used to. So I did find the Ursaly and the Michel just a little too light coverage for me. More used to that for my concealer. Okay, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed hearing a little bit about those BB cream, CC creams, tinted moisturizers. Again, Remember, you're going to need to apply, so if you're putting on more makeup and you don't want to cover over those, you're going to need to find some sort of powder mineral coverage that you're comfortable with. I tend to use something like a foundation over it and then just reapply blush, but if you don't like that idea, if you've got your blush just perfect and don't want to mess that up, look for some sort of mineral veil that has sun protection in it, and that will do the trick. As always, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you're up to in the comments. And of course, make it a great, great day. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.